Hi, hello, welcome back to my channel, Govind English Teacher. Today we are going to learn how English is essential for the professional and personal development. Today a great speaker is with us, he is Ross from West Bengal. Now he is going to share his experience, how he learned English language and uh, welcome back to my channel. Okay, so thanks for inviting me in your channel also. As you have already mentioned my name also, my name is Raj. So first of all, before I introduce myself, I am thankful to you that you have invited me uh, to talk with you because back six months ago, we had six or seven months ago, most probably we had a conversation. So that time we really discussed a lot and we really had a lot of fun while talking. And I have learned also a lot of things from your side, the enthusiasm, the fun, the way you are actually speaking with the people also with that courage. So that is really the remarkable and also I am expecting this thing again while talking with you in this particular session also. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have joined uh, my training also internship. So you can consider it as a normal job uh, like nine to five job because this internship that I have to do because it is the requirement from our institute to do this particular thing. Uh, so I'm doing in the field of audit and accounts. So most probably my work is in the field of auditing. So yeah, I'm learning that things. I'm new in that field. So there are a lot of seniors who is guiding me uh, in order to do the procedure and work. So and a lot of things and communication is a very important fact in this particular role also. So that I'm trying to develop also. So yeah, that is something I'm trying to match up. With. One more question. How English uh, communication is important uh, in your profession? Okay. So if I talk about that in my profession, first of all, I just want to make it clear that I'm in the field of finance and accounting. So you can consider myself from CA background. So actually I'm not doing CA, I'm doing CMA, which is cost and management accountant. So actually you can consider me as from CA or CMA background, finance background. So in our field also, when you are in the field of auditing or there are some other fields like merger acquisition, or they are in the fields like finance where you have to report the financial planning or many other uh, things are also there. Uh, so in that field also, what you have to do is that when you are prepare, making any report also, if you are in the larger company, if you are appointed as an auditor for the larger company, so you have to discuss your report with the top level management, right? So then you are expected to have the communication skills to make your uh, statement very clear. So whatever things that you have raised, during the, the during the procedure of audit so you have to talk with the management now it is the if the smaller level of companies there uh, for them you are doing the audit so your mother tongue will be enough sufficient but communication is needed because you'll be talking with the top level management right you will be conveying your message that these are the queries i have uh, you know uh, raised these are the observation that i have raised while uh, doing that audit also but the fact is when you are doing the audit for the larger company so you need to have this particular language also because that will give you the immense uh, confidence uh, and to talk with them also and this will create an impression also because everything will be written so everything in your report will be written in english language so conveying uh, the message in english language would be much more better compared to native language yes if the native language is required to be used over there so then you can use that but english is needed so english will not let your confidence down so that is the most important point i i think so not only in my field also every field you need to have if you are uh, looking to target to you know talk with the senior level management somehow or anything also so then you most probably must have that kind of skill of talking with them in english language yeah that's i do feel uh, thank you, Ross, for your uh, elaborate uh, experience regarding uh, how English is essential for the personal development and professional development. Thank you, sir. And uh, one more question. And what are the suggestions that you are going to give the new learners and how one can develop one's uh, language fluency communication skills in English language? Please. So I think uh, that's the first. Uh, it, uh, my journey back then started more than two years ago. So back then, uh, my motive was to improve only English. But when I joined my internship, I have seen that there are a lot of mistakes I am also making while making the you know communication also. Because I never exposed to talk with the senior level management also and other people also. So that point in time, I was, uh, I was having some hesitation while talking with them in my native language also. 
so i was having that lack of confidence while talking with them so communication is the separate part and english is a separate part right now uh, as i have told you if you are mixing both of them then it is it will be considered as english communication and when it is needed as i have told you that if it is required to make you explain all of these things in english language then english communication is important now coming back to this point that how we can actually improve that english language what methods that help me a lot that is english surrounding so i just started uh, visualizing that thing that uh, yeah i am surrounded by the people who are speaking in english and it is possible if they are human beings also they can do that so you can do that so first visualization technique had helped me second thing is that you have to start practicing right so second thing is no matter which level of english speaking you are in you have to speak so today also i am speaking i could stop myself from speaking and i could stop myself even also i think back two days ago i had talk with the sir also uh, so that point in time i was coming back from office so i thought that let's have a conversation so that's why I, then i you know start, interacted with the sir then sir told me that you come to the session also then we will have a discussion over there so yeah that's why so i could or definitely give myself that excuse that i have job or i have internship so i don't have time so i will not practice so it is not the fact so you have to start practicing at least according to your time or schedule you just give uh, 30 minutes 25 minutes you start with that small small and make this thing as a daily routine as like you are doing brushing as you are doing eating so you have to do practice so it is the part of your daily life you can't you know ignore that or you can't cut it down from your life so that is the first of things that i have made it from back to years ago that this is the part of my life so if i do not eat then definitely the problems will come in my body samely if i do not speak english then it will start creating some problem also now coming back to the practical solutions these are the habits that you are following i uh, should be following the uh, and some practical methods i think listening is very important and uh, you can also read some of the uh, novels i'm um, not novels as a beginner you can't read the novels also uh, you may read some story books also do not hesitate to read some class 5 uh, 6 story books because i started with uh, english medium 5 6 story books i still recall that uh class 4 story book i just uh, you know deliberately went to that shop also asked that shopkeeper that can you give me the class 4 uh, uh, you know english medium story book he said that for whom you are taking i said that for myself but he was asking me that you are looking like not you are uh, studying in class 4 i said that, no i just want to read that stories that's why i have just purchased so without any shame also you have to you know uh, start uh, from the scratch also that will be definitely helpful and take advice from the people who are actually in that uh, positions like sir also is there there are so many creators who will be uh, guiding you by the practical solutions you can see that there are so many people already have come across from this particular thing also uh, and also now no people is actually you know telling me that whether you are from hindi medium bengali medium or anything people will only tell you that if you can speak then they will forget your past also so past doesn't matter so you can also do that yeah uh thank you ras for coming to my live session and uh, sharing your experience and uh, your experience will help many new learners and your experience will motivate many new uh, beginners and uh, thank you for sharing your uh, experience and coming to my live session and thank you very much for making every everything regarding how one can learn english language easily thank you ras thank you